I'm Chef Mark with LearnToCook.com. Today we're preparing potato pancakes. I like to use russet or any kind of russet from Washington or Maine or from Idaho. They also grow them in California, so it depends on where you buy your potatoes. Of course, the, the supposed best potatoes are grown in Idaho because of the volcanic soil. So I like to use the russet Burbank Idaho potato for that. You have to grate your potatoes for potato pancakes, so I've grated them. I've used some Yukon Gold, so hence the little yellow color. You're going to have to want to squeeze out of that water out of there. We don't want that water. Not necessary. So there's natural water in potatoes. So Let's get most of that liquid out of there. Squeeze it by hand. Don't need any, add any salt at this point uh, to help cure or remove the liquid, enough comes out because they've been shredded. So that's good. And almost the liquid is out. Our next step is to add some seasoning to that. And for our potato pancakes, you want to have some, some sea salt and some black pepper added to that. A little pinch of nutmeg, we put it in there as well. Sometimes it'll cut the, uh, not sometimes, nutmeg cuts the starchy flavor that potatoes can have. Then I've added some minced onions and a couple of eggs and baking powder. It lifts up the potato pancake very nicely as you pan fry it. So there you have it. Now we'll be ready to make it make them in the pan. So let's go over to the stove. All right, so now I'm adding my potatoes. I want to make a pancake. Well, it sort of looks like a pancake, right? Not the one you would make with a batter, but certainly it'll cook up very nicely. We have a, a, a skillet, right? Medium to high heat. Have a mixture of butter melted butter that I previously melted and some olive oil. Unlike deep frying where you'll use canola or corn oil because you're it's a frying medium and you don't eat the oil when you deep fry. When you pan fry, which is this is pan frying or shallow frying, you want to, you'll realize that you'll be actually eating the cooking medium so make sure it's butter or a cold pressed, like extra virgin olive oil. I'll flatten them a little bit with a spatula so they cook evenly. Now you can add bacon to that, you can put diced ham in there, but this is your basic all around potato pancake. So we're gonna let those brown up. The egg holds it together. Onion gives it traditional flavor. Baking powder helps it rise. Salt and pepper and nutmeg. All you need is, um, uh, a pan and a absorbent cloth to uh, absorb the excess fat. So they have a nice golden brown color. I flip them over. You'll want to use a hamburger flipper that'll work much better than this uh, small spatula that I have. But I did in fact flip them over and you don't want them to burn so be mindful of any burnt areas. That's why we have melted butter and a little olive oil so that they're cooking. Uh, you don't want to put the batter into the pan and it not be hot and sizzling. Then you have an oily sponge, but not very tasty. You have a potato sponge filled with oil. So they puff up nicely from the, the, the baking powder. And this is a great recipe. And we'll turn them up just a little more. I always want to make sure it's browning. The bubbles aren't too large. There are any burnt areas. Also move the pan around. Sometimes your stove, the gas has high and low points. So, and the pan sometimes can be an older pan where it's thinner or thicker on one side. Also, some stoves go to the right or left. So you have to be mindful of that too if your stove isn't perfectly flat. Or maybe it's your house. It's a little crooked. So now we're ready to take them out. We're going to put them on a tray so that they crisp up. They've cooked very nicely. That you'll discard. You want to put them into the oven to crisp up nicely before we plate them up.
Okay, so we put them in the oven to crisp them up. Nice potato pancake, also known as potato latkes, right? Very delicious, very tasty. Let's put all four there because we like them so much we might eat all four of them. And then you want to add a few other ingredients to it. There would be some sour cream, of course. Nice sour cream. And then you can use an applesauce. You can use a, um, a fresh applesauce. This is actually an apple chutney. And uh, there you have it, beautiful potato pancakes. Enjoy. Well, thanks for joining us today at learntocook.com. Be sure to comment and to subscribe. Also visit us on Facebook and Twitter. Have a great day and thank you. Thank you.